hi guys welcome to my study compass in this video i'll be walking you through the past paper math b1 variant 2 may june 2020 let's get started write in figures the number 53035 here is the number written in figures to confirm this, you can type 53,000 plus 35 into your calculator. Write 8,379 correct to the nearest 100. The number in the hundreds position is 3. The number after 3, which is 7, is greater than 5. So we add 1 to 3, giving us 4. The numbers after 3 become 0. So we have 8,400 rounded to the nearest 100. Write down the mathematical name for this type of angle. The angle is less than 90 degrees, so it's an acute angle. A and B lie on a circle center O. Write down the mathematical name for line AB. Line AB is a chord. A chord is a line that connects any two points on the circumference of a circle. OA is 8 cm. Write down the length of the diameter of this circle. OA, which is the radius of the circle, has been given as 8 cm. The diameter is twice the radius, so we have 2 times 8 cm, which is equal to 16 cm. Write down the reciprocal of 10. The reciprocal of any number is 1 over the number, so the reciprocal of 10 is 1 over 10. Find the value of square root of 196. When we type square root of 196 into the calculator, we get 14. Calculate 15 cubed. When we type 15 cubed into the calculator, we get 3,375. Put one pair of brackets in each statement to make it correct. To make this correct, we put a pair of brackets around 8 plus 4 times 2. 8 plus 4 times 2 gives us 16. So 16 divided by 16 is 1. To make this correct, we put a pair of brackets around 16 divided by 8 plus 4. 16 divided by 8 plus 4 is 6. So 6 times 2 is 12. The 840 students in a school are asked if they want a change of school uniform. The results are shown in the pie charts. Show that the number of students who said yes is 266. To get this number, we divide the sector angle for the students who said yes, which is 114 degrees by 360 degrees and multiply by 840. This gives us 266. Change 5.3 kilometers into meters. To change 5.3 kilometers to meters, we multiply 5.3 by 1000. This gives us 5,300 meters. The scale drawing shows the positions of town A and town B. The scale is 1 cm represents 12 kilometers. Find the actual distance between town A and town B. On the scale drawing, when we measure the distance between A and B, we get 9 cm. Using the scale conversion, we can get the actual distance, which is what we are calling x. When we cross multiply and make x the subject, this is what we get, which is equal to 108 kilometers. Town C is 72 kilometers from town A and 96 kilometers from town B. On the scale drawing, construct the position of town C. Using the scale conversion, 72 kilometers maps to 6 centimeters and 96 kilometers maps to 8 centimeters. 
First, we measure the width of our compass to be 6 cm, stand at point A and construct an arc. Then measuring the width of the compass to be 8 cm, we stand at point B and construct another arc. The intersection point of the arcs is the position of town C. Write down the order of rotational symmetry of the diagram. The order of rotational symmetry of a shape is the number of times the shape looks like the original when it is rotated through 360 degrees. This shape looks just like this in two instances, when it is rotated 180 degrees and when it is rotated 360 degrees. So the order of rotational symmetry is 2. The bearing of B from A is 105 degrees. Find the bearing of A from B. On the diagram, we've indicated the bearing of B from A, which has been given as 105 degrees. We've also indicated the bearing of A from B, which is what we are finding. These two are interior angles, which means they add up to 180 degrees. So to get this angle, we subtract 105 degrees from 180 degrees which gives us 75 degrees. Angles at a point add up to 360 degrees. So to get the bearing of A from B, we subtract 75 degrees from 360 degrees, which gives us 285 degrees. Write down a square number greater than 10. One of the square numbers in this range is 16. 4 squared gives us 16. Write down an irrational number. An irrational number is one that cannot be expressed as a fraction. An example of this is root 2. Points A, B, and C are shown on the grid. Write down the coordinates of point C. When we map C onto the x-axis, we get 3. And when we map it onto the y-axis, we get 1. So we have 3, 1. On the grid, plot point D so that ABCD is a parallelogram. For ABCD to be a parallelogram, we plot point D here. On the grid, plot point E so that EA equals negative 4, 3. We've been given EA, but to make it easier, let's find AE, which shows us where to plot point E if we are moving from point A. To get AE, we simply negate EA, so we have 4, negative 3. This means to get to point E from A, we move 4 units to the right and 3 units downwards. The height h meters of a tower is 76.3 meters, correct to one decimal place. Complete the statement about the value of h. Since we are correcting h to one decimal place, we have 76.3 meters. Then we bring in plus and minus 0.1. Then we divide 0.1 by 2. So for the lower bound of h, we have 76.3 minus 0.1 over 2 meters, which is equal to 76.25 meters. And for the upper bound of h, we have 76.3 plus 0.1 over 2 meters, which is equal to 76.35 meters. So h is greater than and equal to 76.25 and less than 76.35. Rovers, United and City are football teams. Write down and solve an equation to find the value of x. We are told Rovers scored x goals. Then United scored 8 goals more than Rovers, which is x plus 8. And City scored 3 goals less than twice the number of goals scored by Rovers, which is 2x minus 3. We've also been told that 3 teams scored a total of 117 goals. So we have x plus x plus 8 plus 2x minus 3 equals 117. When we group like terms, x plus x plus 2x is 4x. 8 minus 3 is 5. When we subtract 5 from both sides, we get 4x equals 112. 
and when we divide both sides by 4, we get x equals 28. Calculate the area of the trapezium. Here is the formula for the area of a trapezium. A is 11 centimeters, B is 7 centimeters, and H is 5 centimeters. When we type this into the calculator, we get 45 centimeters squared. On the Venn diagram, shade the region A intersection B. On the diagram, we've shaded the region A intersection B. Complete the Venn diagram. We've been given the elements of the universal set to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So first, we need to list the elements of sets P and Q. We see that the number common to P and Q is 2, so we put 2 in this region. After taking out 2, the remaining elements in set P are 4 and 6. For set Q, the remaining elements are 3 and 5. From the universal set, we see that the number that is not in set P and not in set Q is 1. Write 2 raised to the power negative 4 as a decimal. When we type 2 raised to the power negative 4 into the calculator, we get its decimal form to be 0 0.0625. Without using a calculator, work out 1, 3 over 4 minus 11 over 12. You must show all your working and give your answer as a fraction in its simplest form. First, we need to convert the mixed fraction 1, 3 over 4 into an improper fraction. So 4 times 1 plus 3 is 7 divided by 4. The LCM of 4 and 12 is 12. For 7 over 4, since we multiply the denominator by 3 to get the LCM, we also need to multiply the numerator by 3. So 7 times 3 is 21. For 11 over 12, since we multiply the denominator by 1 to get the LCM, we also need to multiply the numerator by 1. So 11 times 1 is 11. 21 minus 11 is 10. 2 goes into 10 5 times and goes into 12 6 times. So we have 5 over 6. Roberto buys a toy for $5. He then sells it for $4.6. Calculate his percentage loss. His percentage loss is equal to his loss, which is 5 minus 4.6 dollars, divided by the cost of the toy, which is 5 dollars, times 100 percent. This gives us 8 percent. Simplify 8t raised to the power 8, divided by 4t raised to the power 4. We can rewrite this as 8 divided by 4, t raised to the power 8 minus 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2. 8 minus 4 is 4, so we have 2t raised to the power 4. Write 45,000 in standard form. To write this number in standard form, we move the decimal point from the end of the number to a position after the first non-zero digit, which is 4. So we have 4.5. Since we moved the decimal point 4 units to the left, we multiply 4.5 by 10 raised to the power 4. Write 2.06 times 10 raised to the power negative 2 as an ordinary number. When we type 2.06 times 10 raised to the power negative 2 into the calculator, we get its ordinary form to be 0 0.0206. Write down all the factors of 28. To get the factors of 28, we first need to list the numbers that multiply to give us 28. From this, we see that the factors of 28 are 1, 2, 4, 7, 14, and 28. Write 54 as a product of its prime factors. 54 can be written as 2 times 27. 2 is a prime number, so we circle it. 27 can be written as 3 times 9. 3 is a prime number, so we circle it. 
9 can be written as 3 times 3. 3 is a prime number, so we circle both. So we have 54 equals 2 times 3 times 3 times 3. We can leave this as our final answer. Or since 3 appears 3 times, we can rewrite it as 2 times 3 cubed. Find the lowest common multiple of 48 and 60. First, we need to list the multiples of 48 and 60. From these lists, we see that the lowest common multiple of the two numbers is 240. Find the gradient of line L. First, we need to pick two points on line L. Then when we apply the gradient formula, we get 10 minus negative 2 divided by 4 minus 0, which is equal to 3. Write down the equation of line L in the form y equals mx plus c. All we need to do is find the values of m and c and plug in these values into y equals mx plus c. We've already found the gradient m of the line to be 3. To get c, we pick the y coordinate of the point on the y axis through which the line passes, which is negative 2. So we have y equals 3x minus 2. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video useful. See you in the next video. Bye guys.